West Midlands Police have released CCTV footage of the moment officers were fired at by a gang of 30 people during last week's riots. They've launched a murder investigation and want the public's help to catch every one of the offenders. A masked gunman aims and fires at a line of police officers. The gang of around 30 people have already broken into the Barton Arms pub and the drum in Aston, taking furniture to form a barricade on the main road. When the police get there, they're trapped and shot at. Eleven shots were fired in total. This man takes his aim at the police helicopter. The force says it's sheer luck that no one was injured. You can see from, from the stance of the man firing the gun that he was clearly taking aim at a line of officers who, who were very close to him at the time. So I think, I think we've uh, been lucky, they've been lucky. Clearly uh, uh, very traumatic for the officers themselves. The Barton Arms was repeatedly petrol bombed during the attack last Tuesday night. The owners hid upstairs. <laughs> Luckily, their two children were visiting relatives in Thailand. Oh, I'm really scared. First time I'm, I'm so like this in England. I, I think in England, really safe, you know. But I'm so. <laughs> I'm really upset why uh, they do like this. Like this, yeah. This is where the group made their barricade on a busy section of the A34 in Birmingham. And the police believe that this is the main motive for the entire incident, to create maximum disruption and lure the police to a trap where they could be targeted. I look at that footage and think that the only motive can have been to maximise the harm that they could cause to police officers and potentially, of course, other members of the public. Yesterday, four of the officers involved were the first to meet the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge during their visit to Winston Green in Birmingham. Three men were not so lucky here. They died protecting properties during last week's riots. Today, a ninth man is being questioned in connection with their murders. West Midlands police have already charged two men after the shootings in Aston, but say the community is at risk until every member of this gang is caught. Detectives in Nottingham.